Hey, my name is Naomi and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be telling my experience with HPPD, how I self-diagnosed myself, how I approached doctors, what medication trials I went on, and my day-to-day -day struggles and how I came into acceptance with HPPD. Firstly, what is HPPD? Hallucinogen Perceiving Perception Disorder, HPPD is a disorder in which a person has flashbacks of visual hallucinations or distortions experienced during a previous hallucinogenic drug experience, sometimes with the same feelings experienced before, which can cause distress or impairment in work or everyday life. So I've been wanting to make this video for a while now, but I've just been waiting until I'm in like the right headspace. Obviously the first thing you do when you're diagnosed with a new condition that's not very well known, you go on YouTube and look at other people's stories and how they've dealt with it. Well, that's what I did. <laughs> and I spent 12 months obsessing over this disorder and how to be cured. And I guarantee you that's how to drive yourself crazy. Just a disclaimer, I'm not trying to support or promote any illegal substances. I'm not ashamed of my past. Being open with my drug experiences has helped myself and a lot of other people with this condition. I recently joined the DanceWise Wolfpack as a key peer educator. So I'm proud to be telling my stories and bringing awareness to drug safety, harm minimization. I've had HPPD since December 2017. I was at my first DEF CON and I was sold 2CB instead of MDMA. 2CB is a research chemical, which is like a tripstasy. That's what triggered my HPPD. For the first eight months, it was just green halos, mild traces, being sensitive to lights, which was really easy to manage because like you don't really notice it that much. Like you'd be like, oh yeah, like looks a bit funny, but you don't think that there's something wrong with you. Around a year ago, my symptoms got severely worse to the point where I did not even feel safe to drive. <laughs> I went to bed crying every night because it was so bright when I closed my eyes that sometimes it was like darker to leave my eyes open. Even though like looking at a wall, all I saw was like blue static constantly moving. But that that's better than closing your eyes and seeing a whole bunch of rainbow mess. <laughs> I see through objects. I see doubles. I see traces on anything that moves. I can't even look at the day or night sky because it puts my eyes in so much pain. Just imagine rubbing your eyes. And then when you open your eyes for that few seconds, you see all those like colors and patterns and it's just like you're very disorientated that's my eyesight 24 7. i stopped taking mdma md and psychedelics last year in november when i first realized it was getting worse i've seen countless of doctors psychologists i've been to a neurologist a few times but no one takes me seriously but that's because no one has heard of hpbd like if I went into a medical center and explained that I was, that I've been stuck in a drug induced psychosis for a year and a half, they would look at me like I was crazy. And they have looked at me like I was crazy. I went to multiple optometrists and ophthalmologists and they all said that my eyesight was perfect. So I'm here left thinking I'm going crazy because they're saying that my eyesight is fine, yet I'm seeing like everything on an acid trip I'm not even joking my psychologist tried so hard to do a meditation with me but because i have tinnitus it didn't work so he basically said there's nothing i can do for you i suggest the only option you have left is to go to the emergency room and tell them you're a danger to society and yourself and then maybe they'll take your condition seriously and when i heard that i was like the little hope i had left just disappeared because if like no one can help me I don't want to live like this so then I went into a spiraling case of depression and around May this year I planned on killing myself after my 21st birthday I wrote my mom and dad a text message explaining how I was feeling and how I couldn't live like this and how the only option I had left is to kill myself because seeing the world like this isn't how I want to live I can't hold conversations anymore because if I look too long into someone's face, 
their face starts to morph. Like, who wants to live like that? <laughs> so then my mum suggested I see a family friend doctor. But I had no high hopes because of all the bad experiences I've had with doctors who care but don't care because they don't really... They do little to none to research about my condition. So with all the research that I gathered within the year of obsessing over my HPVD, I laid out all the evidence on the table, the stories and the drug trials that people have said had cured their HPVD. I say cured like this because in most cases your HPVD can never cure, like there's, there's not a cure. And that's what I didn't know back then, thinking that if I don't find a cure, I'm gonna kill myself. That alone, it, it set me mad, trying to obsess over finding this cure. So if you're watching this right now and you're trying to find a cure for your HPVD, please, please change your mindset. Try and find some things to lessen your visual symptoms or lessen your derealization or depersonalization. I can't stress this enough because if you focus too much on trying to find a cure, you're gonna end up in this spiraling depression that it sent me in. So my doctor did heaps of research on HPPD. He got me on the lem... How do I even pronounce that? Lematro... Lematrigine? Lematrine? I don't know. I was on 100 milligrams for three months and it didn't change any of my visual symptoms so then he took me off that one. But I highly suggest you try Lematrine or how you love you pronounce it. Um, because there is strong evidence that it has helped people um, so you should give that a try. People have also tried benzos and there is a lot of evidence that benzos have helped but I myself didn't want to fuck up my brain even more so I then looked into a much more natural um, vitamin which is lion's mane. It's made from mushrooms and it repairs and deletes damaged um, cognitive bits in your brain. <laughs> halfway through my trial on Lamandrine, I'm so sorry if I'm saying this wrong, but halfway through my trial, um, I started to feel at peace with myself because it is also used as an antidepressant. I started to get extremely sad about how this condition has taken so many valuable moments from me. Like turning 21, I was trying this medication and I wasn't allowed to drink. Then I asked myself, why am I getting so worked up about something that I legitimately can't change? So I've been seeing like this for nearly two years now and I've been so focused on trying to find something that can fix my eyesight that I've been forgetting to live my life. So I've gotten to a point where I've just accepted I see like this now. I've stopped comparing things to what they used to look like because doing that, that made me so upset. <laughs> I kind of look at it now like a superpower. I just see more than other people. Because if I look at my wall right now, I know the lights are on, but like, it's trippy. And you can kind of enjoy it sometimes, like, it just looks really cool. I wish I could show you what I see. I talk to my friends about it. Like, I'm very open with my friends and family about my condition. I just, if I'm in, like, a cool environment, I'm just like, oh, I wish you could see what I could see. But, yeah. The reasons why I wanted to post this video is purely to bring awareness to this condition. That your brain is such a confusing place and experimenting with drugs is just playing with fire until you have brain damage. <laughs> Even doing substances in the safest of environments, it's not always guaranteed that you're going to be safe. HPPD is very anecdotal, like it comes in so many different shapes and sizes. In my HPPD community on Facebook, we did a vote on what substance triggered our HPPD. And 97 people said LSD, 41 people said MDMA, and around 31 people said 2,5-I and 2-CB, which are fake LSD, like research chemicals. There was heaps more on the list, like shrooms, and it's basically all psychedelics. No one can stop kids and teens from taking illegal drugs. Like, you just can't. But there is information out there about reducing the risks and potential health hazards associated to unsafe drug use. Thank you so much for watching to the end of this video. 
it has taken a lot of courage for myself to film this. If you have any questions regarding HPBD or you just have any questions for me, feel free to message me on Instagram at Naomi Green underscore. Um, I love to chat. <laughs> Hit the like and subscribe button and feel free to leave me a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts and stories and yeah, thanks. Bye. <laughs>